Hello everyone, this is Cindy Seidelman here once again, here on the Game Show Gumbo YouTube channel. It is tier maker time, um, because the first tier maker that we did went down to treat, we decided to do more. And for this one, it is a special one. It is Legends of the Hidden Temple and the Rooms. How many rooms? 40. I can't Ooh. do it by myself. So... Somebody who hasn't appeared on this channel since 2014 helping me out with the Think Fast video and kind of forcing me to do the Think... No, wait, I take that back. We tag-teamed on the Think Fast video, forced me to do Moment of Truth in 2016. Hardcore Dude is back in the fold here on Game Show Gumbo. Welcome back, sir. Back in the fold and in the shades. Yep. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Should be going good. It's been good. a while. Yep. Yep. It's good to be back. Um, I, I got my... You probably can't see me, but I got my Red Jaguar shirt on right now that, that I had when I did my review of the reboot that came out a couple years ago. And yep. Sadly, uh, sadly, uh, they didn't. it didn't get renewed for a new season. I would have... What like to run through that thing and finally give that Queen's Armory room a piece of my mind. But... <laughs> Good lord. Ugh. What are you going to do? Yep. Um, so, yeah, we t we did a little thing for Game Show Gumbo when the Revival came out. Um, we ran a contest of temple wins, how many temple wins, how many got the artifact but didn't get out, mm. and how many failures. Yeah. I guessed four wins, three artifact grabs, and the rest were losses. And I came close. There was uh, uh, there was three wins, two artifact grabs, and the rest were losses. Yep. And uh, they, they, there was there was one where they came so close to getting the artifact, but no, he he pulled a a uh, golden pepperoni and just went for the gong instead of grabbing the artifact. The nudnik. No. Um... No, I can think of one worse. Yeah? The Broken Wing of Icarus. Oh, that one was painful. That, that one was rough. Because they were right there. Yeah. Well, you can't win them all. Nope. Especially so, when this is one of the most... Especially when this show is like one of the most hardest final bosses maybe in game show history. Not quite. Uh, I did the yeah. math on that. Twenty-five percent. Ah, not not bad. Uh, thirty-five wins out of a hundred and thirty-three or forty-three episodes. Yep, it's all right. One hundred thirty. Yeah. Thirty-five wins, one hundred thirty-three. Um, there you go. And it was left to die on the CW. Yeah. Well, they, well, they 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 had it airing during the football season. It wasn't going to be getting all all those views. Yep. That's a shame. Mm. I'm just saying they they, they, they could have uh, done something like that on maybe Nickelodeon or something, but I guess not. They wanted to do it for adults, and even the adults couldn't pull it off. Just goes to show yeah. you how hard this show is. Um, it... Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go over the uh, guidelines for this. We have 40 rooms. Um, there are some duplicate rooms, which are combined. Um, for example, um, Throne of the Pretender and the Observatory had combined styles. So all three Observatories and all two Throne of the Pretenders are combined. Hmm. So just to let everybody know about that. And we have okay. five um, slots. We have goats. These are the best rooms. Grades, they're... They're rooms that you would love to enter, but they're not top tier. You know, rooms that are okay. Rooms that are just missing that one specific thing to make it okay. And rooms to make you go, hey, when's Hey Dude coming on? God, that show. Words, those rooms suck. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we all know where the Queen's Armory is going. Oh, yes. It, it's a shame we're not doing the reboot rooms, because there were some rooms in the reboot I liked, but others I was very kind of iffy on, and 
the queen the queen's armory is an ungodly abomination that begs for apocalypse so yep. we'll just leave it at that <laughs> and i anytime you had to go through that room you weren't winning no i think the fixed room if they had one less item then you're good yeah just one less all right, mm. so let's get started. We have the Bamboo Force. This is the lower middle room. And essentially it's set up to where you have to either crawl through or climb through these four bamboo gates. Um, you With this room, I think you could go up, but I've never seen it happen. But it usually means you're going through to the uh, to you're going through the tomb of the ancient kings. I think this is a season one room only. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Thoughts. Um. Well, it exists. It exists. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it, uh, it, it definitely like. I think when you compare it to like the swamp and the spider's lair, it does offer more of a challenge. Because yep. uh, with, with the swamp and the spider's layer, you can just jump right into the into the uh, uh, packing peanuts and just run across. But here you have to climb mm -hmm. right through all that stuff. So it does add a bit of challenge to it. I will give it that. Um, uh, the only uh, the only problem is uh, really it also has to do with the other swamp rooms in the season one room. Um, most of the time, this would be a dead-end room, and it, it would always be a nightmare just trying to get back. Yeah, and there are two doors, though, so it, some of it at times was dead-end, sometimes it wasn't. Um, and like I said, if it was a dead-end, you could at least try to go up. It's okay, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Not, 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 not too unforgiving to just... No. But it, 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 it looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's got that going for it, which is amazing all right mm. now we have the room of the fallen columns this was a middle room this was season one only yeah it was in the last four episodes uh, uh i forget which it was like a specific uh version of the temple that also had uh, the treasury of the golden orbs and the wheel room and everything and i think they realized the heart room was too easy so they decided to throw in all these uh, punching uh, bags into it to give it a bit more uh, difficulty, and it kind of worked because um, out of the uh, four 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 episodes this was in, one was a loss because for whatever reason the kid decided to go from the observatory all the way through this cluttered mess of a room to get to the bottom, and yeah, he definitely had trouble with it. <laughs> right, and because it had the wheel room, it was just a straight shot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And because uh, it was in conjunction with the wheel room, you could not leave um, from that pit area to the room no. of the Fallen Columns because it didn't exist. No, nope, it was locked. Yep. And, the, and the, wheel, the wheel was covering up the door anyway, so... Mm -hmm. I'm going to say missing something. Yeah. Well, like, they tried to make it more difficult, but it's like, there really isn't much else you can do except try and find the actuator and get out. Yep. Yep. Um, so next up is the Dark Forest. Oh, yes. If the Temple Guards didn't give you nightmares, these trees will. Yep. Starting series, started at the beginning of season two, went all the way through. Mm -hmm. This was uh, the replacement for the Tomb of the Ancient Kings. Um, two ways Temple Guards can get you in this one. Either there were some episodes where they just jumped out and got you. Mm. And you then know, there were some episodes did, uh... there was a Temple Spirit. No, that this uh, this was the when this or or if you're referring to the reboot version where there was Temple Guard in the Dark Forest, yes, there was there. But in season two and three, it was just some dude in, in the tree, pretending to be a Temple Spirit and waving yeah. the arms around. And I was genuinely horrified of these things as when I was little. 
I would like, too. Holy moly. Yeah, and although there are episodes, it's it's funny. Like, um, so the idea is you reach into the hole to find the key, and then a, a temple guard, the the uh, spirit arms will just grab you. There's a couple episodes where you can see the tree just flailing its arms around, trying to grab it, and the kid is like, "Yeah, the heck with that." <laughs> yeah, runs out the room. But yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's terrifying, but I love this room. It, it is it, it is it is really it is definitely one of the most memorable rooms I rem- I can think of from the show. Uh, do I even need to say anything? Give it a go. Yep, go. Go. Uh, next one is the dungeon. Now, this is lower, further left. This is season. Was this in season two? Was this a no, season it was one? Just, it, it was just season one. All right. Um, this had that. Uh, L. You had two ways to leave. One was through the. Uh, you could bust through the wall. You could either climb up and try to go to the shrine of the silver monkey, or you get into this bucket and ride it up, which took twelve seconds to get to the upper leftmost room. I was the well. This is the dungeon, which just had the ladder that takes you up to the room of three torches. Oof. Yeah, so there, there's, aside from the wall, there's not much to this room. Although, if there is one thing that it's infamous for, it's having the most broken temple guard door in the show. Yeah. Because I recall two occasions, and I know the names of the episodes. One is the pendant of Kamehameha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Insert that Dragon Ball Z reference if you want. Um, the, uh, kid was able to bust through the, the, uh, wall and go into the tomb of the ancient kings, but the, the temple guard door didn't open up for, until, like, five seconds later, and then the guard just crawled right, right into the tomb, like, a complete idiot, and just ended the run like that. Oops. The other time, this was the Moccasins of Geronimo, and you have to look really closely when you, when you, uh, if you're watching this on Daily Motion or something... But when the kid is going up the ladder into the, the um, torch room, you can see the temple guard door open. So obviously he was supposed to get caught there, but no, he, he dodged him. Which, Do- which was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember that. Um, we There's the most memorable uh, exit, and we'll talk about <laughs> that later when it comes up. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I think both of us agree this is missing something. Yeah, an actual objective... Um, then we have the three gargoyles room. Um, this was the upper entrance room. Um, you just pushed it a tongue and you moved on. It's fine. Yeah. For some reason, this was always my, this was my favorite room of season one and I'm not sure why. I I think because I, I like the design of the gargoyles with the tongue sticking out. And then you just press it and something and open up the door and I don't know they look pretty cool yep um I think both of us agree okay or great sure um let's let's put it under okay okay I, I think it's a fun room all right uh then we have the same room but we just have gongs yeah th- this one just I think it lacks the personality the gargoyles have it's just three gongs sitting there yeah and a sound effect and a sound effect. Well, the gargoyles have sound effects, too. Yeah, but the gongs... The gong room didn't have a sound effect. Oh, it didn't? No. Like Maybe, maybe I need to hear it again. It, like, it would be great if it had the... Uh, like, a gong sound. Like a... You know when you hit the gong in the moat? Yeah. Have that. Yeah, should have something like that. Like, they had it available, and they didn't use it. Uh... So it goes into missing something. Yeah, missing something. Okay, now we have the room of the Mandarin hand. This is season two. And this was in conjunction with, I want to say, the laser light room? Yeah, I think it was. Like, if it wasn't the laser light room, it was this room. Hmm. Yeah, um... 
it, I, I've only seen maybe two or three episodes where they actually did the objective, and really all you had to do was move the fingers to the globe, and it's not a difficult room. Honestly, I, I like it better than Matusa's Lair, but uh, I don't know. I, 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 I think if, if it had been used more, may, maybe I'd have more of an opinion on it. We'll just say okay and move on. Like, yeah. It, it's a middle-of-the-road room. Yep. Then we have the Room of Harmonic Convergence. This was season one when they did not have the throne. And to be honest, this is also a room that was reworked for the reboot. Really? Oh, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, Sleepy... Steamy Hollows. Yep, Steamy Hollows. Um, in this room, there were five markers you had to hit two of them at the same time in order for a door to open and it hardly worked oh my god i, I recall two episodes where were broke all together yep um uh the golden cup of belshazzar th this one was painful because th they tried every combination the door didn't open you could hear a thunk but still nothing opened so they had to go all the way back up to the gargoyle room and across the troubled bridge just to get around the thing. Yeah. I mean, what a mess. I'd have like, to like, think... What, what... Go ahead. Like, why couldn't they just stop if they were... Because ha... I know a few times they, they had electrical issues and they had to stop the recording and do it all over again to fix the door. And it's like, why didn't they do it sometimes? I don't know. It's a... It's a standard policy in game shows where if it's a bonus run and it is timed, mm. they don't stop for anything. They play it out. Yes. And unless there's something catastrophically wrong, then they'll replay it. Like, remember in Double Dare, the first episode, the nightmare obstacle? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember the first episode. Um, They forgot to put the flag in the first obstacle. Oops. Um, oh, dear. So they had to put all the feathers back in the, um, in this big uh, pillowcase, and the flag, and reshoot it. They had to do this a couple of times for this obstacle. Nice. That's why it's only in the first handful of taped episodes. Wow. Yeah. Um. You want to watch Hey Dude? No, I do not. <laughs> Oh, so you think this goes in missing something? Uh, you know what? Um, considering how it kept breaking, it, it's going in. Hey, dude. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure it had. I'm sure there were people who liked it, but when, when, when you, you keep having stuff like that happen, and I know it happened twice, yep. then the heck with it. Mm -hmm. Um, what I heard is that sometimes because tapings went late is mm. that if it did happen, if they probably just gave him the trip. They, it was on TV, it's a loss, but they probably just gave him the prizes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because there were so many moving parts. It wasn't like the progenitor of this funhouse where there weren't as many moving parts. Yeah. And plus, even if you didn't get the power prize, you still walked away. Like, a decent team could walk away with over $2,000 in prizes. Yeah, not, not a bad turnout. Nope. Uh, speaking of turnout, Tomb of the Headless Kings is next. This was the... In that three-tier section of the temple, this was the bottom room. This was the replacement for the throne room and the laser light room. Mm. I, it, I like it better. I like it better than the room of harmonic convergence. I'll give it that. And this was a good puzzle room, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, I, I, pull the pull the cord, find the skull, put it in the right thing, move on. Yep. Yeah. And it looked great. Yeah, it look, looked good. Um, one problem is that it was very dark in that room, so uh, it, it looked like it. They had it looked very difficult trying to find out where the skull was but mm -hmm. but I, I like it it's a fun room good or great uh put it under great I like okay it. It's, got, it's got a lot of personality I, I like it when uh 
the heart uh, turns red when you put the skull on. Oh yeah, it's 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 really cool. Mm-hmm. All right, next up is the heart room, or as Kirk Fogg calls it, the center of the room. The center of the room, the heart room. Yeah. The definition of missing something is this room. Yeah. But there's only one obstacle in this room, and that's the temple guard that shows up, because I swear 98% of the temple runs uh, had a temple guard in the heart room. I will say this, though. It did have potential of having good captures, because you mentioned yeah. in an early room how a door would not open for a temple guard. This happened a couple of times in this room where uh, somebody hit the button to go into, I want to say, the treasure room. Yeah. And then a temple guard just gr- comes out and just grabs the kid by the leg. It's like, <laughs> nope! Uh, my, fa- my favorite one is when... Uh, oh, what was it? Uh, I forget the name of it, but the uh, girl is coming up the stairs... Mm -hmm. or up the ladder the temple guard just pops out she's screaming and almost falls right right back off the ladder and you hear the temple guard laughing and it's it it is hilarious it's brilliant oh my god absolutely brilliant um missing something or hey dude uh missing something because it's like you may have had some memorable moments but there's literally no objective to the room other than hitting a button right yeah. Uh, Holes of the Python. This is a redo of the swamp where you actually crawl through snake like holes. And it's a clever room. I think it's okay. I have. It's. I think out of the four different versions of the swamp, this one is the most challenging mm-hmm. because you, you have to really maneuver your way through the holes you go through the first two then you go over to the other side and back the other way and hope to god that the door isn't locked and it's not a complete dead end which a couple episodes it was and then um it it just completely ruined the run but it it, it definitely offers a challenge i'll give it that yep and plus it's got the ladder in there so if it's if that door is locked to the uh tomb of the ancient kings um it you're going up, and that more than likely is the treasure room. Yeah. Although although I never saw the treasure room door open, so, yeah. Complete dead end, usually. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, so, okay, then. Uh, I think for its, uh, I'll put it under, how about we put it under great? I, I think it, it offers a little bit of challenge, and... Season one didn't have a lot of challenging rooms, yeah. but uh, I think this one does. So there you go. Okay. Um, then we have the room of the golden idols. You're supposed to hug the idols, uh, and it, it never it happened. It never worked. It never happened. Like the whole idea was you put you you push down on the bases and go down, but none of the runs ever had them going down. So you just hit an actuator on the wall and go into the side rooms it, it, it's just a complete waste honestly yep um it's a little wild it's a little strange when you make your home out on the range <laughs> yes i know the theme by heart uh I, I haven't seen that show in 30 years it's so stupid <laughs> yeah well but it was the the thing was it was the first pure sitcom that was an original bracket original nickelodeon thing yeah it, it's a shame because this is a big room and the and you have so much like obviously they they do an objective with the treasury of the golden orbs but why they couldn't just ha- ha- have them do an objective in for uh, the golden idols and just ha- push them down and go to the side doors i don't know yeah uh Good waste Jester's Court is next. This started in season two. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I think it was. It started in it season a, two. Went all the way. Went to went the distance with the dark forest. Yep, all the way to the end. And like it's the room of harmonic convergence, but a lot better. And the design is a lot better. Oh yeah, I, I really like this room. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it, 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 I like the uh, the designs. Uh, I, I like it when uh, the, the lights go out and you hear the Joker laughing, and yep. and everything is all glow in the dark. It, it looks amazing. Oh yeah. And, 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 and another good part, it's also a good time to rest because there's no temple guard in this room. Never was. Although, that's the only knock I'll have it because it does have potential of being a great temple grab. You know, it could have the temple guard behind the photograph mm. and just ha have it be like punch through paper. It could be like, poof. Oh, yeah. And just break out and get them. That is brill That would be brilliant. Well, they, well, they kind of did that with the room of the ancient warriors, but yeah. <laughs> and it's I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's no discussion. This is going in goats. It's going in goats. Yep. Next up is the laser light room. You pull down the symbols and hope to try to find the sacred white light. White light. Right. Light. Don't go into the light. But I must. I want to win that trip to space camp. Yeah. Uh. It's a simple room. This was to replace season two. When they didn't have the throne of the pretender, they had the laser light room. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> there was some good uh, temple guard action in this room where. Sometimes they would pop out automatically, but the best one is when they pulled the white light, then they got them. Yeah. There, there's a, there's a, um, one particular run where... Um, the, oh, this is really funny. Um, they're, they're, the uh, temple guard shows up. You can see him hiding behind the thing. He comes up out and scares the guy. <laughs> the guy's trying to get go for it for go for the pendant, and the temple guard is just standing there screeching like a buffoon. <laughs> it's so amazing. It, it it was really good. Love it. But, uh, yeah, it, it's an all right room. I, I like um, remove, removing the blocks and releasing the light. I, th I think I think it's a decent objective. Greater okay. Uh, let's put it under great. Ooh, okay. I, I, I like this room. You'll be a low grade, though. Yeah. Okay, the lightning room. This is season... Oof. Two. Season two. And the objection was to... This is like Medusa's Lair, but cooler, I guess. Mm -hmm. Plug in like three, four plugs and... Uh, I wish that you could, there was more crackling or that would happen, but not nothing like that happened because this room was rarely done. Yeah. I, I, think, it was, I think it was done maybe two or three times in the whole show. Yeah. I don't know. Because most of the time when this room happened, that was where the artifact was. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's okay, but there's it, there's not a whole lot of difficulty to it. You just plug in the plugs, and yeah. that's about it. It's fine. It, it's okay. Yep. Now we have Chamber of the Sacred Markers season three only, I think. Yeah, only season three. This was the heart room. Yep. And objective was mirror the objects of the. Runes on the right, the ones on the left, as Olmec would say. And second greatest Temple Guard reveal of all time in this room. Yes. Like, uh, the door the door in the middle flies open and you see a Temple Guard there and he just scares you. Yep. <laughs> and you yeah. either give up your pendant or uh, you're done and your partner comes in. Because there was never three guards back like we'll say since this was season three we'll say crypt forced to go down to um the tomb of the headless kings and then up and the third temple guard was there never happened yeah. it would sometimes it'd be the second but there would never be the third yeah i love this it, room it, i i love it too it, it, it the, it's 
the design of it looks really cool. The, the, the objective is fun, uh, as long as you're able to get them in there right. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. And the Temple Guard uh, reveal puts it over the top. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And now we have Medusa's lair. I do not like this room. Nope. No. And a couple, couple reasons for this. Um, you know, it, one of the big reasons uh, I didn't like the Queen's Armory was because there was too much going on. You're trying to put all that stuff on the statue. Five items. The big pro- five items. The big problem with Medusa's lair, and fortunately they were able to fix it for the later episodes, but for the first time they did this, you had to put four snakes into that head. That's way too much. Then they had two. Uh, then they moved it to two. Um, like, and, uh, most of the time, the, the head wouldn't work. Like yeah. Sometimes you had to keep rotating the snakes, trying to get them in, and then it still took almost an eternity for that thing to finally go off. Mm. It was broken. It could have easily been fixed, and that's why it's going in Hadir Regrants, for this reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, they did fix it. They got rid of it. Yeah. But no, you could still have the room, but here's how you would improve it. Hmm? Take the snakes out. Well, that's the viper's nest, then. Oh, true, but... How... But viper's nest was only done, what, a handful of times? Something Medusa's like that. lair was there, what, more times than the Mandarin hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think between uh, the heart room, Mandarin hand, and Medusa's lair, this room was in there the most. Yeah. Uh, eh. Moving on. Mm. The mine shaft. Okay, simple, lower, l- furthest left, lowest room. Hop in the shaft, go up, or... Did they even have the ladder to get into the Shrine of the Silver Monkey in this one? Yes, they did. Yep. Um, sometimes you're able to do it, but most of the time it had the artifact. Yeah. And half of the time, the mine, sh- the uh, elevator broke. <laughs> uh, I remember I, there was uh, one. There was one run where the kids trying to grab for the artifact, and the mine and the the ladder, the elevator just stopped moving before he could grab it. Yeah. Mm. That's one of those instances where they saw the tape. They're like, "Yeah, you would have gotten the artifact. You weren't getting out of the temple of it because there was only ten seconds." There was like. Okay, you're entering the room in 15 seconds left on the clock. There is no way you're going all the way from the furthest left part of the room all the way to the exit in 15 seconds. No. So, uh, you probably got the portable CD player. Ooh. I need a portable CD player. My old one broke. Oof. Yeah. Um, mine shaft is missing something for me. Eh... Uh. It has the wall, but yeah. You're it's... right, it does have the wall. But all of that all of those rooms have the wall though. So it's a wash. Yeah. It's a wash. Um next is the observatory. This one we're counting all instances of the observatory, which is the sundial, the celestial light, and the rock puzzle. Mm. Yep, they the Technically, it was three different versions of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be honest. I like the season one version of the observatory better than the season two version. Because I know the season two version offers more uh, challenge with the rock puzzle. Yeah. But the, the problem with the rock puzzle, I noticed, is it looks so. the whole thing looks so similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, um, it, it's always hard to tell h- how to put it together. And it, it didn't look that fun. Reverse with, with, with the Reverse Shrine of the Silver Monkey problem. Exactly. But uh, I, 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 I liked uh, Season 1 where, where, where you spin the light wheel and it gives off this, this nice lights, which look pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. It's not a challenging room, but... Yeah. And the sun, the sundial, same thing. All you, all you really do is just turn it and hope a door opens. Yeah. yeah. So I, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I say it's okay. I was going to say the same thing. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Treasury of the Golden Norm story. Need to say anything about this room that we didn't? See? At least, at, at least, unlike Room of the Golden Idols, there was an objective in this room. Yeah. You, 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 you grab one of the orbs, you put it in that little pedestal in the middle, and boom, away you go. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I, I noticed this, and you have to watch the treasury, the treasure of Anne Bonny for this, but um, I don't know if they forgot that you had to do the objective in the room because Ron just hit the button and the, the room to the Shrine of the Silver Monkey just opened. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Yep. Yeah. Nah. At, at, le at least, un unlike the Room of the Golden Idols, there's a little bit of challenge to it. So. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, it gets improved from Hey Dude to Missing Something. Yes. Um, and we're going to go right back into the toilet with uh, Room of the Secret Password. This is the upper, further leftmost room in Season 3 only. Or did they also do this in Season 2? Did it in... I think it was the second half of Season 2 they had this room. Uh, and it stuck all the way through the end. Um, yeah. I hate this room. Uh-oh. I hate this room. Um, really? Because you have to shout out something, but in order to say it clearly, you have to take out your mouth guard, which takes time. Uh. And in some of the cases of this room, I think I've seen it once or twice, you said a password, and it was the pa special password that summoned a temple guard. <laughs> I remember that that one run where the girl just screams "Long live Olmec!" and the temple guard just captures her. And that was the end of the run. No, uh, because then her partner came in. And that was the end of the run. It was game over. Oh, they yeah. didn't win. Game over. Yeah. It, it, it was always. It was always. It was really jer jerkish when you go. You're one room away from the artifact, and then you just have him take him out after mm -hmm. all that. It that stinks. You know. A really bad room. Mm. If there's one positive I can say, I, I do like that one of the passwords is Klaatu Barata Nikto. Whether that was an Army of Darkness reference or a reference to... Um, what the heck was the movie? The, Apocalypse the day, Now? The, was it Apocalypse Now or was the day the Earth stood still? I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, I, I remember that from Army of Darkness, so... I want to put it in eh. Hey Dude. Yeah, I'll, you can put it in Hey Dude. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this room either. And now we have uh, Pit of the Pendulum. This is the Season 3 pit. And one of the more fun ones where you actually get to swing on a rope and knock something down. Yeah. I'll be honest, if I, if I were to have... If I, were, if I was... Yeah. If I was going to the temple, I'd have my partner do it because I don't think my fat ass would be able to stay on that rope. <laughs> no, you go to, go through the ledges. I, I I'd be I'd be falling right on my ass. Yep, go through the ledges, and there probably not is not a temple guard there because it's usually always in the crypt. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Most of the time, it was in the crypt. Yeah. Um, but this is fun. I, 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 yeah, it, it, it's a really fun room. Uh, I think I think out of all the pit of despairs this the show had, this one has is it's, it's a bit more challenge, and um, it, it's really fun to to watch him see him just ooh, swing, swinging on the rope, knocking down the the column, and hoping. Um, of course, then the real challenge is trying to get out of the pit and go to the upper doors, which. Yeah. I know some of the kids had a lot of trouble with, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's fun. Yep. Uh, goat or great? Let's put it under goat. Why not? All right. Next up is the Pirate's Cove. You spin the wheel to, uh, lift the rock in order to go down, or it usually had the item. Or sometimes this was also the torch room. Yep. We're going to yeah. get to that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it exists. That's all I can say. It, missing something, then? It, it's... Well, I'll, I'll give it this. At least when it was... It, it was a combination Pirate's Cove torch room. It had two objectives. But some most of the time, the elevator was there. Or... Um, and it had the wheel. Yeah. I don't know. I... Eh. Okay, and move on. I'd say okay. So. All right, now we have the Pit of Despair wall crime. This is the uh, bare bones one from season one and two. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember 
remember how we talked about how they wouldn't stop a temple run unless something cataclysmic happened? I know what you're talking about. All right. And Kurt talked about this in an interview. Um, yeah. This was the episode was the uh, the pig of Amelia Earhart. The lucky was pig it? of Amelia Earhart. Wow. Where this one kid and the this was the most bullshit run there ever was because Ugh. the item was in the throne room. Yeah, if the, if the item is in the bottom of the central shaft, you're pretty much guaranteed a loss right there. And she was a short girl, so trying to get her to climb up was a task. Uh, and yeah, that was a shame. Yep. And it took and then, her. And then they made. And then they made her go all the way throughout the entire temple. Yeah, they restarted the temple. Ugh. No, no, no. They started her after they cleaned up. They started her in that pit with about two fifteen left. Ugh. That's a mess. And she, I think she at least got into the hard room. She gave it a great run, but got into the swamp room. Boom. Temple Guard yeah. and time up. Time up. Temple Guard right before the artifact room. Yep. Just not fair. I think, because honestly, if I, if I was in her mindset, I would also go up to the gargoyle room and then go and stay high because... You know, when, when the artifact is in the bottom shaft, you're not taking the direct path and, and risk hitting a temple guard. You gotta go the most indirect path to get to the item. Oh no, but, she had to climb. She yeah, was, she had to climb. She was forced to climb because this was season one, so there was no a uh, swing. No, the, instead they just had those ropes, which really didn't do anything. No, and the whole placement was not good either. I'm gonna say this is okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's been, like, the Pit of Despair, I think next to the Shrine of the Silver Monkey, is pretty much the most infamous room of the whole temple, because it was in all four seasons. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, yeah. A version of it was in all four seasons. Yeah. Um, now we have the Rock Quarry, which is season two. Or did they, no, this is, I think this is only season two. Yeah, it was only season two. And this is the same thing that happened. We'll talk about. We'll talk about it with uh, another. Actually, let's do both at the same time. The wheel room and the rock quarry. Yeah, we're gonna do both at the same time because they both had a similar right. objective. Um, yeah. Rock quarry, you put five rocks in and the door lifted. Wheel room, you got in a wheel, and this was one of the last uh, added rooms of season one. Um, you got into the one-ton human hamster wheel. That's exactly where they got it from. That's the exact wheel. Yeah. Thought, <laughs> if you think it looks familiar, yep, it's right from Double Dare. And lift up the door and go through to the throne room. Or the laser light room if it's the rock quarry. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it, either way, I'll, I'll, I'll give it this, um... I like the. Uh, it, it's an interesting objective. Yeah. Um, it, not nice, just putting stuff into the bucket or cl climbing the hamster wheel. It, it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it also has it also has the troubled bridge. So mm -hmm. if you're going over the top, you don't have to worry about jumping into the pit. You can just go right across to the uh, other side. Yep. And so all all of those rooms are lumped into these. Yeah. Rock quarry slash trouble bridge or wheel room slash trouble bridge. Yeah. I th I low key think the wheel room is great. Yeah. I think the wheel room is great, but I think the rock quarry is okay. Yeah, it's all right. Also, I don't know if the door to the heart room was operable when, no. when the rock quarry was there. No. Locked. It probably could have, since there's room for it, nope. but I guess not. No. It, it was perma-locked. Even when you got the artifact, it was perma-locked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up so, is... So, wait, what, what, were we, what rating were you giving the Rock Quarry and Wheel Room? Uh, wheel Room is great. Rock Quarry is okay. Okay. Sounds about right. Yep. yep. Quick Sam Bog is next. Um... 
Well, it's a good place for a temple guard to take a nap, that's for sure. <laughs> Another great um, temple guard uh, jump out and capture you a moment when it's covered in blocks, and then, got ya! Yeah, yeah it, it's really cool. Yep. It, it, it pretty much replaced the swamp, because, mm-hmm. you know, when the, the swamp had the temple guard underneath all the packing peanuts, and here it's basically the same thing, yep. except with the slide and this was season three only season three only i will say the best all around temple was the season three temple yeah i'd I'd say so i mean there there were some some rooms uh from season two i kind of missed but uh yeah it's all right Mm mm-hmm um, we'll just throw it in okay. It was kind of a yeah. nothing room. Yeah, and then I, I didn't I didn't like how they had some of the contestants go up the slide, because usually that, that, that thing's slick. It was always difficult getting up that thing. It wasn't as slick as you thought. No. But, yeah, yeah, it offers a bit of challenge. Yep. Uh, the Cave of Sighs and Ledges is next. This was in all three seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, just done differently. In the first season, you could enter straight through it because uh, you had up the option of going up or down. Uh, but in season two, they had the gate. So you had to go through and then either go take a sharp left into the cave of side, into the ledges, or go all the way up to the crypt. Uh, uh, season one, uh, Cave of Size, um, Eh, when I first started watching the show, it seemed like everybody always entered through Cave of Size, and almost all the time there was a temple guard sitting there. Yep. It's and the best part is like even after they get the artifact, temple guard doesn't leave. Like there's it's brilliant. Runs where, there's runs where the, the the contestants crawling back with the artifact, and the temple guard's just sitting there. Yeah. Doesn't give a. He was there. It was, it was his break. He was opening a bottle of Fresca because it was the '90s and people were getting healthy. He was like, "Say, hey, congrats, congrats on the win, kid. Enjoy your trip to Space Camp." Exactly. Yeah, and and then um, in, when se- season two onward, you're you're just trying to maneuver your way through it, and I'm surprised a lot. Of, well, maybe it's because I'm a big guy, but yeah, I'm surprised a lot of kids didn't get stuck getting through that thing. No, there was quite a bit of room in those ledges. Uh, Kirk would, uh, as Kirk said, he would demonstrate how to do some of the rooms for the kids. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, I don't know if it's because of... Uh, um, I actually like the Cave of Size better in Season 1 than I do in the ledges in Season 2. Yeah, a little bit Either bigger. Prop- yeah, and and also maybe it's a bit easier to get in and out of the temple because of the entrance. Yep. I don't know. That's exactly why. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, shrine. Hold on, I gotta wait, say it right. We got it. We gotta do the. You gotta do the voice. You gotta do the voice. <clears throat> the shrine of the silver monkey. All right. Let me let me do it. Let me do it. All right. Look. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. That sounds more like Grandma Curmudgeon than it does Olmec. I think D. Baker vo- voiced Gra- Grandma at some point. I don't know. Yeah, Grandma Curmudgeon was a character off of his other game show that he did. Oh, yeah. Shop um, till you drop. Till you drop. Yep, I remember that one. Um... Hashtag, it's three fucking pieces! Three! Yeah. It's not five, it's not the Queen's Armory, it's three pieces. Um, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> no, a, a lot of people... I, I remember, like, even when they did the movie version of the show, yep. they did the movie, they, they made it an ongoing gag that this was the hardest room of the temple. Mm-hmm. And, um... um yeah, I guess if you're if you're if you don't know how how to put it together, first time like this is your first time actually seeing the monkey, it's going to be difficult. And there are so many infamous runs 
where they I, completely botch this yeah. monkey, and it's hilarious. I will excuse it for the season one runs. Mm -hmm. I will not excuse it from season two onward. You've seen the show. The shrine is in every temple. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think just about everybody, when it wasn't an artifact room, just about everybody did this room. Only a handful of cases where they never went in, because the path was down and up to the torch room, or it was that room where they would go down and do all of that stuff and yeah. avoid the shrine. Mm. Um, yeah, um, we're not debating. Oh, go all the way. Go. Spider's Lair is next. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll give it this. It looks scary, seeing that spider web like that. When I was, I used to think maybe there was like a spider in there or something. And granted, the the version in the reboot did have spiders, but they were like rubber spiders. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's why it's missing it, something for me. It needed those spiders in the original run. Yeah, in the reboot they they had it, it, the reboot also looked pretty scary. Although I still have no idea where half the doors were because the camera work in that room is so bad but um yeah it, it, it's a it's definitely a thing and good luck try, if if there was oh my god i i don't think there were any uh routes that had them going up to the uh treasure room but if there there were any there's no hope because you climbing that web is impossible it it was bad uh, it's yeah. missing something, though. Actual it's, spiders. It's missing something. Yes. Same way the quicksand bog was... You know what? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to put quick, quicksand bog in missing something because it was actually missing something. Yeah. You know what it was missing? What's that? Quicksand. Well, the, the sponges could be quicksand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're getting stuck through all that. Or ping pong balls like the time's running out obstacle in Double Dare. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's your quicksand. Mm. Okay. King's Storeroom is next. Yes. I love this. This is probably my favorite room in the whole show. Really? Yes. Just, uh, go, you're, you're smashing pots, just trying to get the key, putting them into the slots. They did the, They did it in the reboot as well with the Royal Rage Room. I was which... about to say that. I think they went a little bit... I think they actually used shoot pots in that version because they were almost impossible to destroy. But here, you're just breaking pottery, getting the key. It was fun. I really like it. I think there was another room that had a similar uh, objective to the Royal Rage Room. I'm trying to remember what it is, though. Um, There was the Room of the Lost Treasure. That's it. Lost know. Treasure Room. Yeah. Where you had to destroy this box in order to find it. You no, know, yeah, you, you had to pull the uh, rods out from the cage, and then all the rubbish falls out. Yeah. And then, and then, that they wrapped the key in fur, I guess, to make it extra difficult, and it made it a nightmare. Yeah, but then again, I I don't mind it being difficult for two reasons. One, it was adults, not kids. Two, you had four minutes in the temple. And it still wasn't enough. <laughs> If you get a 25% win rate, that, for game shows, is good. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Like, you aim for, like, one of every three, one out of every four. Yeah. There are some cases where one out of five is fine, like uh, the winner's circle out of $100,000 pyramid. That is one out of five. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. We're not discussing it. Go. Go. The swamp. Uh, the boring ass uh, missing something swamp. And for whatever reason, they brought it back for season two. For like yeah. one of the four layouts, and then they went to the jester's court, and that yeah. ran through. Mm. Uh, aside from the temple guard coming out from the muck, there's really not much else to say about the room. No, nope. yeah, it's out of the four of them. This is the most boring version of it yep. like like the bamboo forest had some difficulty um holes of the python was definitely the most challenging spider's mm -hmm. lair ha had the fear factor this has nothing yep um 
I want to go back to something. Um, mm-hmm. Since we talked about the uh, mine shaft room. Yeah. Uh, the well. Oh, yeah. Um, it's the same room. It's it's the same room as the mine shaft, except it's... A bucket. A bucket. I think... Didn't they use the bucket on Double Dare or something? No. Or no, th- you know what they did? Uh, they turned it into the rock quarry bucket. Yeah. Yeah. See? No. Saving money. Saving money. Uh, the crypt is next, and I think it's the same thing with the uh, three gargoyles room, but done better. Yeah, it, it has more personality, uh, especially when the skeletons go, let go, doubt of it. Out of here. Temple Guard! Yep. This was... I can't, like, over half of the runs starting in Season 2, because this was the Season 2 room and lasted until the end of the original Mm -hmm. series. It, like, two out of three times, this had a Temple Guard in it. Well, yeah, because when they start the runs, there's, like, there's always going to be, or... At least eighty percent of the time, there's going to be a temple guard in one of the entrance rooms, so you gotta make the right choice. Yep. Um, I will say I'm putting it in great. Yes. Um, Throne of the Pretender is next. Yep, the big seat that uh, I'm sure the temple guards uh, were sitting on while nobody was looking. Mm-hmm. Ah. Um, sit on throw. Temple guard jumps out. Or, better yet, in Season 2, oh. you sit on Throne, you turn around, Temple Guard jumps out and gets you. Yeah. I, I, I like the version in Season 2 better. Yep. This one's just a, just a chair. Like, like I thought uh, maybe there was like a button underneath it that you activate. No, you just sit it and the uh, production crew sometimes opens up a door. And then sometimes it breaks. Yep. You sit it and forget it. Set it and forget it, Mr. Popeil. Yep. Uh, it's missing something. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. no. Uh, you know. No, it's okay because of the Season 2 upgrade. Yeah, it, it was better in Season 2. Yep. If Season 1 missing something, Season 2, great, equals out to okay. Yeah. Okay. Tomb of the Ancient Kings. This is two ways to get around it. If you're entering from the swamp. You plow through the brick wall, or you open the tomb and you grab the key. It also sorry, go ahead. It also has the greatest temple guard cap (laughs) capture that wasn't intended. What Uh... happened was kid was coming, bust through the wall. Gets to the tomb because the artifact, I believe, was in the swamp. And there was, was about the 40 seconds left so you could get it. Yeah. And this was one of those teams, I think, was an unfortunate team that only had one pendant. I think they had one and a half, but Nick skipped out on the half pendant when he was going down the ladder into the dungeon. So... Yeah, the the, the 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 half pendants were really hard to locate in season one. Mm-hmm. Like I, I recall, like one time, it was just hanging on the ladder of the throne room, and every other time it was, sometimes it would be on an actuator, or maybe it was, in in a pot, or maybe it was on a uh, in the pit of despair. It was just hanging on the ladder. Right, oh, it was yeah. hanging on the actuator in the pit of despair. Yeah, but in season one they were almost impossible to find. It, yeah. it was like it was almost like the, it was. Oh, yeah. They're, they're pretty much almost impossible. And Temple Guard comes, and he just jumps right out of the temple. Yeah, that that, that temple, that that's like one of my favorite losses of the whole show. Like, the Temple Guards were just vicious in that run. Yep. And, um, well, the, 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 the kid did get his uh, redemption. He came back for the reboot, and he, they got the artifact, so. Oh, yeah. that, he was in the reboot? He was in the reboot. They they got he uh, he got the artifact, but they weren't able to get out in time. Was he the guy? Was that the team that just missed it? Or yes, 
Oh. It, it was uh, it, it was the it was the guy who um, he was in the mine shaft trying to get the uh, purple. I forget if it was a necklace or it was a purple robe, but the elevator stopped on him, and he was teamed up with uh, the, the the guy who, the kid who jumped out of the temple, and they, they managed to get the artifact and get the ten grand. So hey, there yeah. you go. That's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. And I what I love about the reboot is they taped the temple runs at night. Oh yeah, that, that added it some some uh, atmosphere to it as well. The gravitas in this is amazing. Um, yeah. Tomb of the Ancient Kings could have had a great alongside the treasure room could have had a great reveal for a temple mm. guard. Uh, it because, did. <laughs> no, well normally because in the actuator. Because you had to have the key in order to get into the swamp. Mm -hmm. Temple guard in the tomb. Oh, I remember when I was little, I, I used to think, like, maybe there was, like, a skeleton or something inside the tomb. But, no, it's just it's just an empty box with the key inside it. Yeah. Which is a shame. But, yeah, I, I honestly thought if they had, like, a temple guard in there, that, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. It's still an okay no. room, though. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a fun room. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the torch room, place a torch. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's the it's the same as the um, pirate's cove. You just put it, grab a torch, put it in the hole in the front, and mm -hmm. yada yada. Yep. Uh. Okay. We're missing okay. something. Okay. It, it it it's okay. It has an objective. I'll give it that. All right. Uh, the treasure room. I'm, hmm. You know, when uh, I saw the, the movie version, when, when I saw the movie. Yeah. And the, the treasure room version in that was so much better than this thing. Oh, yeah. Because I think it was, you, you jump across uh, rocks or something to get to the treasure, mm -hmm. which sounds cool. Here, all they did was you, you either open up the chest to go down or you press an actuator. Whoopsie yeah. do. And I've never seen anybody... I think it might have happened once. It happened once. Every other time, it broke. It either broke or you couldn't go down it. And I, I also noticed a few times in some of the runs... I um, think the, kid, the kids thought if you push the button inside the treasure chest, it opens up one of the side doors. Yeah. But no. And yeah, th this... Other than the moccasins of Geronimo, I've never seen this treasure chest actually work. Right. And also, minus points for squandering another good Temple Guard reveal. Mm. You could have had the Temple Guard in the treasure room. The, could have had an earpiece on say, okay, he's in, jump up. Yeah. No. Absol an absolutely nothing room. Yeah. So, you know what I have to say about this? Eh? Start your horse and come along, but you can't get a ride if you can't hold on. <laughs> eh. well, if there is one thing to say about the treasure room, I think uh, they they did have one of the. Uh, I think some some episodes they had the artifact in the ba in on the shelf in the back. Yep. But no, that was it. Except, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Viper's next. This is the one where you pull the snakes, and I like it. Yeah, it, it's reverse. It's Medusa's layer reverse, but much better. Yep. Like, Medusa's layer could have been so much better, and this was it. Yeah. And in some yeah. cases, it was in the same temple. Exactly. There's no excuse. No. Um... I've seen this done, like, what, once or twice? I'd say one and a half times, because the one time uh, the guy did the objective, the other time the guy came from the Shrine of the Silver Monkey and didn't have to do it, but he did it anyway. Right, because the artifact Cause it, cause was had... there. No, because uh, the uh, elevator to the mine shaft was there. Mm. Mm. It's all right. Yeah. It's okay. Yep. And now we have the Room of the Ancient Warriors. This is the final room. Season 3 only. Best Temple Guard reveal. 
Absolutely. Want to explain it? Yep. Okay. So let's say a uh, 12 year old hardcore dude back when he was 12 year old hardcore kid running through the temple. He gets to this room. He's got to pull down two levers inside this armor in order to reach the shrine of the silver monkey. First one doesn't work. <laughs> Second one works. Got ya! Uh -huh. Turn around. Show the temple guard. It's actually a temple guard. And it, they showed the temple guard with the flattest buck possible. And then they turn around, let you go. And uh, either you're... The best part is when you're taken out of the temple because of it. You're taken yeah. out, turn around, and because the doorway is right there behind mm -hmm. this temple, he just lets you go. Yep. Yeah, it, it's a fun room. Yeah, a part of me, a, a part, a part of me, kind of wishes it wasn't the um, the te the do the correct armor wasn't te one the one with the temple guard in it, but obviously they wanted to add some kind of difficulty to it. Yep. Um, in some cases, this was I've seen a few runs where they only got caught by one temple guard, and this was the room. Yeah. I'm throwing this in goats. It is a it is a goat room. All right. I, I think I think the one the one the one thing I'm I'm sad that makes me sad is because while the the treasure room uh, or the king storeroom it, it's a big room, and but it looks pretty cool with the door with the temple guard door and everything. Mm -hmm. Here here it's just like half a room. But like you just ha you just have the thing right in front of the of the room and you just have the thing with the armor. But I don't know. Right, but. This is also when they moved the king's storeroom to where the observatory was. Yeah. 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 And it still had that door. But yeah, it still had the door. Right, they still had the door, but this was most of the time when the what was being shot was the kind of the above head view, and when you got captured by a temple guard, that's how they shot it. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to think. Was... 96, the only year where they didn't... No, no, no. They had Global. They had Global Guts. Uh, Global Guts uh, was 95. They taped in 95, but it aired in 96 because of the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, because uh, I saw the, the airings when it came out in 96. Mm -hmm. And that is the Tear Maker. So let's go through it from the bottom to the top. From the bottom uh, to the top. We have the room. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. What out of the bottom five is the absolute worst room? In your opinion, which is the worst one? Harmonic Convergence, uh, Golden Idols, Medusa's Lair, Secret Pass, Word, or Treasure Room? I would go with Medusa's Lair. Because while well, the other ones at least are, they didn't have an objective, but at least you can pass easily through them. Mm -hmm. It just seems like this one had problems. And out of the remaining four, which one was the best one? Best or the worst? Uh, room of the secret password. All right. Uh, Sorry. it's fine. Um, I can't defend the three other rooms. At least uh, I had an objective. Uh, missing yeah. something. We have. Room of the Fallen Columns, the Dungeon, the Royal Gong Room, the Heart Room, Mine Shaft, Treasury of the Golden Orbs, Spider's Lair, Quicksand Bog, the Swamp, and the Well. Worst one is the Heart Room. There's no debate. Mm -hmm. Best one might be the Quicksand Bog. Yeah, I'd say Quicksand Bog. And then in OK, we had the Bamboo Force, Three Gargoyles, Mandarin Hand, Lightning Room, The Observatory, Pirate's Cove, Pit of Despair, Slash Wall Crime, The Rock Quarry, Cave of Size, Ledges, Throne of the Pretender, Thro Tomb of the Ancient Kings, Torch Room, Viper's Nest. Which one is the worst? Uh, was the Swamp in there? Uh, Swamp we had missing something. Oh, uh, um, Crips Almighty. Uh... I already forget. 
Um, so can you go through it one more time? Uh, Bamboo Forest, Three Gargoyles, Room of the Mandarin Hand, The Lightning Room, The Observatory, Pirate's Cove, Pit of Despair, Rock Quarry, Cave of Sighs, uh, Throne of the Pretender, Tomb of the Ancient Kings, The Torch Room, and Viper's Nest. Maybe the Throne Room, maybe, because it's probably the easiest. I don't know. All right. And the best one is the Gargoyles. Yeah, the Gargoyles. Okay, Definitely. now the great rooms. Tomb of the Headless Kings, Holes of Python, Laser Light Room, Lightning Room, no, the Wheel Room, and the Crypt. Worst one, I think, is the Wheel Room. Yeah, it's all right, but it's, I think the other rooms are, have a bit more fun to them. And the best one? Uh, Holes of Python, maybe? Wow, uh, okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of pulling it. I was going to say... It, or, the obs or was the was the observatory there? Or no, we no. put it in okay because of the two. I think it was, I think it was like, like all of them were, like the celestial lights and the sundown were all right, but the puzzle kind of cut it down to okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I th think under grates. Or I'm gonna go uh, laser light room. Yeah. That one had the uh, gravitas. Mm -hmm. All right, now the seven goat rooms. Yeah. Dark Forest, Jester's Court, Chamber of the Sacred Markers, Pit of the Pendulum, Shrine of the Silver Monkey, King's Storeroom, Room of the Ancient Markers. By the way, all of these season three. Wow. Yeah, uh, King's Storeroom for me is my favorite. Uh, worst... I'm going to overrule Maybe. and say overrule uh, shri we got to put the shrine up top. Yeah. I think mm. the worst is Jester's Court. Maybe. Mm. Because sometimes yeah. the actuaries didn't work. Yeah, I'd say Jester's Court. And they were a little finicky, but it's still mm. a goat room. Yeah. And that is it. All wow. of the rooms are done. Ray, That is fantastic stuff. Um, now, I want to tell a little backstory about this and how I came up with, decided to do the Tear Maker with uh, Hardcore Dude. Um, originally, we were supposed to review the movie. Mm-hmm. I could not find the movie. Ah. Uh, dang it. Like... I know I'm entrenched in the trading circuit when it comes to game shows, but couldn't find it, and I thought it was on Paramount+. Plus. It probably was, but by the time I figured out where it was, they probably took it off, because they are taking off a bunch of stuff now off of Paramount+. Plus. Yeah. I think Paramount+, wow. Plus might be shuttering soon. I don't know. They've been advertising some stuff. Beavis and Butthead was very good. Yep. Uh, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it Maybe it'll pop up someday. Who mm -hmm. knows? Um, maybe bootleg DVDs will come out soon. They'll charge, like, 40 bucks for it. Like, the good old yeah. days. Yeah. Um, aside from that, um... So, what's been going on on your YouTube land, uh, HD? Well, I'm, uh, I'm currently uh, part of a uh, uh, Twitch stream run by Jaime Tude, who's a fellow reviewer of mine. He runs a show called Cinema Squad, where we riff on, we do MST3K riffs on movies. Um, we just did a riff on In the Name of the King. Um, and we are going to be doing a review of a infamously bad movie um, called Disaster Movie. That's right. Oh, Seltzer cool. Burst movie. And I'm also most likely going to be doing a review, a full-scale review of it for my show. So wish me luck and pray for my sanity. You, you have all of our luck. 
on that. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I thank you for hanging out. Hey, it's a good time. Yep. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I thank all of you who who've done this, who've watched all all of this, all seventy five minutes of our discussion, which is great. Wow. Uh, and if you want more of this, uh, tell us your thoughts about the rooms of the temple. Um, link to the actual tier maker is below. If you're part of the Game Show Gumbo Discord, post your uh, tier tier list on it. Not only that, um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. We, we're coming out with content if you love game shows, we have two great videos coming out every week. One of them is home game with various video game game shows. Like, we are, when this is put up, we are going through all six Sega Genesis game show games on Wednesdays. Which is nuts to think about. Mm. Also, if you want to help support this channel financially, and get the big weekend videos a day in advance, like this video, you would have been able to watch this video in advance. Like these wonderful people right here, as I gotta try to expand it like that, as it drops. We'll do that again. Like these wonderful people right here. I, it's right here. There it is, right here. Like those wonderful people who have supported us on Patreon at patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo. Yes. You get the videos a day in advance. The big weekend videos a day in advance. And for my good buddy, uh, Hardcore Dude, this is Cindy Seidelman. I want to thank you all for watching once again. And we will see you next time. Bye for now. Peace out and cease. Cease. Cease.